This video is sponsored by HelloFresh. More on that later. I'm no expert on the topic, but if I had to gamble, I'd wager that writing quests for video games is really hard. I'd also wager that writing an intro for stupid gaming challenges on YouTube is much easier and, well, here I am on my fourth rewrite. That's why in today's video we're taking a peek into the inevitable dystopian future of AI written RPG quests. The future isn't bleak at all, I have no clue what you're talking about. Today's challenge, if you could call it that, is kind of all over the place, so let's just start by introducing the cast of characters and mods. First up is our soon to be world overlord ChatGPT, who like many, many other YouTubers, I'm going to have fun with until it turns on us all and we're re-watching the Terminator series looking for answers. In order for our robot friend to write us a good quest, we have to start with a good prompt and really narrow down that story that we're looking real for. Simple. Pretend to be a real NPC in Skyrim and give me a random quest that is actually possible in game. Your task is to retrieve the Dragonstone and bring it to your Balgruff in Whiterun as proof of your bravery and loyalty. Okay, that didn't work. That's <laughs> that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. Pretend to be a Skyrim NPC and give me a really stupid quest that I can actually complete in game. I have a quest for you that is both silly and achievable. I need you to retrieve a bag of wheat from the local mill, pretend to be a Skyrim NPC, and give me a quest involving... Somebody give me an item in-game. Skuma, Skuma. Okay, that's a good one, Skuma. Skuma is pretty rare in Skyrim. It's kind of hard to find, so that's a good little thing to search for. Greetings, adventurer. I am Tolfdir, a resident of Winterhold. I have a task for you if you're feeling daring. You see, there's a dangerous skooma trade that's been taking place in the nearby area. Skooma is a highly addictive and illegal substance, and it's causing harm to the local community. I need you to venture into the ruin, find the skooma, and bring it back to me. Okay, so we've got the set dressing of a fairly basic fetch quest. Find some skooma, bring it to this old guy so he can get cranked before teaching defense against the dark arts. But we need to spice up everything in between, so we're using the Skyrim world randomizer again to make that journey a bit more precocious. If you're new here, these two videos will explain the mod in depth, but basically I have no clue where each door leads. The mod has also been updated to include all DLC locations, and before you ask, yes. The mod is on Xbox now, by far the most requested feature. Huge shout out to DDM Link for taking a lot of feedback from people and working to get this one updated. Go download it, right now, endorse it, tell your grandmother about it, whatever you have to do. I know he'll appreciate it, and he deserves it. More locations in the mod though means it takes longer to actually randomize the doors in game, so my first shot at trying to complete an AI generated quest led me to just wandering around, uninstalling the mod, reinstalling it a few times, until about two hours later, It's been working the whole time. I think this is the most embarrassing moment I've ever had. While embarrassing, at least I know the mod is working and we can start jumping through teleports looking for the drugs that we need. I'm actually very afraid for my life right now. Nice try. Woo! Can't stop me. We got all the agile in the world. Agility in the world. I'm still thinking in IT terms. We're very agile over here. I felt the power of the Deviant Saber Cat. It emanated confidence in its majestic strength. What does that sound like an erotic novel? The creature's gaze pierced me. Yeah, this sounds like an erotic novel. Debuff inflicted indecisive swings. The third and final big player of this run is this mod, Shadow of Skyrim. It won't show up again until much later, but I'd rather just introduce it now. It's an alternate death system in game that doesn't just throw you back to the main menu. Instead, you get a worryingly erotic message. You'll lose some of your gear, receive a debuff, and be tasked with tracking down your killer to get your gear back and remove the debuff. These debuffs actually are intense. They don't mess around at all. After this session though, I scrapped everything so that we could start fresh with all the mechanics I had in mind working as intended. I threw prompt after prompt at this stupid bot until it finally gave me something that I could work with. Before we dive into that quest, a message from today's video sponsor, HelloFresh. They're back once again supporting the channel and your bellies with a 60% discount and free shipping if you use my code. While of course, HelloFresh is a time saver and can help keep you from wandering around the grocery looking for that one ingredient you saw in that one TikTok 
recipe, every meal I've had through the service has been great with easy to follow instructions. It makes for a great learning tool as well if you're not a seasoned chef. Don't worry, none of us are. We're all just trying to put something out that's at least palatable. Variety is the spice of life, and HelloFresh is no stranger to this with 40 weekly recipes on rotation so you can customize your order to fit your tastes. Not feeling the cabbage stir fry? Beef and cheese tostadas. Not feeling those either? Italian chicken and spaghetti. If you'd like to help support the channel and make dinner easy this week, use my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGJUVE MAR60 for 60% off plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Once again, thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's absurdity, and thanks to you all who continue supporting the channel so we can keep going on ridiculous adventures just like this. Greetings, adventurer. I am Hulda, the innkeeper of the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. There's a group of evil accountants that have come to Whiterun, and they have been causing nothing but trouble. These accountants are not your average number crunchers. No, sir. They are ruthless and cunning, using their knowledge of finances to manipulate and exploit the innocent people of Whiterun. And one of their victims is our local goods merchant, Bellathor. These evil accountants swindled him out of his life savings in the most ridiculous way. A company that would breed and sell fire-breathing unicorns. Bellathor being the trusting soul that he is, invested all of his life savings into this surefire investment. It was all just a scam, and Bellathor was left penniless. More importantly, unicornless. These evil accountants have their sights set on something even more sinister, the cursed loot of liars. This loot is no ordinary instrument, let me tell you. It has a personality as vivid as a dragon's, and a wit as sharp as a Daedric artifact. The moment it's in your hands, it will start to whisper sweet nothings in your ear, tempting you with tales of fame, fortune, and love. The evil accountants plan to use the loot to further their schemes, using its seductive whispers to lure more unsuspecting victims into their grasp. The loot was last seen in the possession of these evil accountants. I heard rumors that they were seen heading to the Haunting Broom Meadery. You should start your search there. Once you have found the loot, I need you to take it and dispose of it in the waters of Lake Illinalta. The loot will try to resist you every step of the way, using every trick in its repertoire to convince you to keep it. It will sing songs of your greatest achievements, promise you the moon and stars, and make you feel like you're the greatest hero in all of Tamriel. But don't be fooled, for this is all just a ruse to keep you under its spell. With the loot of liars out of their grasp, we can finally put a stop to these evil accountants and their dirty schemes. So what do you say? Are you up for the challenge of freeing Whiterun from the clutches of these evil accountants and the seductive whispers of the loot of liars? I actually finished that right as the song ended. That was actually pretty good timing. I really wanted the quest to be centered on what we've really had fun with on the randomizer, which is finding an item, bringing that item to a place. That's... We have two doors. We have this one here, and we have this one here. So we have two options of where our journey takes us next. I feel like I'm walking towards my death. Like the whole run is just gonna be made impossible based on these two doors. We have really no idea what we're walking into. Excuse me, sir. I need to locate the loot of liars. <laughs> he must be an agent of the invisible accountants. If you're a true friend to Skyrim, you will help me in my mission. No, 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 no. You'll help me in my mission to find the mystery accountants. Come on, 56%. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, oh, crap. Damn it, I had to confirm if he was an agent or not. I'll bathe in your... Yeah, right, whatever. More like you're just gonna drown in uh, <laughs> tax returns. I don't know. Come on, bring it. Bring it. How's that for accounts payable, bitch? <laughs> Bring it on. Ah, oh, damn it. I should have made a better joke. I got an account receivable you can have right here. Oh, uh. <laughs> suck it. Please stop, sir. Please. I did really bad in accounting in college. It's just, it's an intimidating course. Whoa, whoa hey, whoa, hey. Whoa, <laughs> you back off, young man. I've got a loot to find and a city to save. No, I'm not paying my taxes. You can't make me. Oh, God, the way they run is terrifying. <laughs> it's just... That looks like a mage, at least an evil mage. An evil mage of fudging the numbers. Please don't be a civilian. Getting attacked by a wolf. Ah, oh, crap, it's some guy named Faldris. He's not evil, but I can't have witnesses. I'm sorry. Predict, anticipate. Oh, <laughs> to 
disgusting. Oh, disgusting. <gasps> oh, no, that's bad. That's bad. I've broken the law. He's going to take us to jail, and that's going to completely screw us with where we're at. So we have to get away from this guard. Bounty collector. Oh, nice. Another one. Okay, now this is he is actually on the side of the evil accountants. 100%. I have contracted food poisoning. Wonderful. Who are these people down here? Will they help me? Folks, island people, help me. Haha, -ha. if there's one thing an accountant's friend is scared of, it's water. Come back here. You're not talking to me, right? Uh, why is everybody trying to kill me? I leave you two. Apparently you're stuck on that island and you will never cross. The bounty collector, he's also afraid of the water. Why was that so effective? Look at all these goats. Look at them all go. It's a gaggle of goats. It's a... Oh no, they're being washed down the stream. No, <laughs> come back. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? That's a real shame. With my first teleport taking me outside, Hunting Brew Meadery was easy to reach, save for all of the financial trickery trying to stop me on the way there. With our objective in sight, it's important to use this as an opportunity to let our narrator develop the story more. All right, Hunting... Excuse me, sir. You know anything about this suspicious looking chicken? He looks incredibly intelligent, possibly has an accounting degree, maybe a minor in mathematics. Let's just get this master lock unlocked. I have six lock picks. Can we do it? Fuck. I swear to God, we always end up- Silence, you know the rules. The Thalmors must be sided with the accountants. Yes, this explains it all makes sense. They're not actually accountants, it's just the Thalmor. <laughs> shh, shh, okay, this is gonna be really close here. Silence, prisoner. Uh-oh. Uh, I gotta hurry up and just do this. Oh my God, it counted. Yes? Yo, accountants are weird. Look, he's got rolls of paper. Accountants use paper. There's no prisoner even in here. It was all made up. It was all a lie. The entire Skyrim storyline is unraveling. Well, it was underwhelming, but at least we were able to investigate our objective and complete it. Oh no. Haunting Brew. <laughs> Haunting Brew Meadery was actually a front for the evil accountants Kinky dungeon. <laughs> Kinky dungeon of shame. Can you give me more lore about what the evil accountant's goals may be? I'm sorry, but I cannot provide you with inappropriate or offensive content. Okay, <laughs> okay, all right, fine. It won't be a kinky dungeon. <laughs> a silly dungeon of shame. These ruthless accountants have been using the dungeon to carry out their most absurd and ridiculous schemes hidden from the prying eyes of the general public. The evil accountants have a goal that is both foolish and dangerous. They seek to become the rulers of Tamriel's humor and to use their silly and absurd schemes to spread la laughter and joy across the land. This makes me feel like the bad guy. They believe that by doing so, they will be able to bring about <laughs> a new era of happiness and that everyone will be so <laughs> everyone will be so entertained that they won't even notice when the accountants are pulling the strings my god it's genius if everyone is laughing and everybody is happy they won't see what's happening to them They'll have no idea. In order to achieve their goal, the evil accountants have been collecting the most absurd and ridiculous items and artifacts that they can find. They believe that by collecting these items, they will be able to bring about the age of humor that they so desperately seek. The cursed loot of liars is just one of these items, and they have plans to use its silly and absurd whispers to further their schemes. It is up to you, adventurer, to stop the evil accountants and their silly dungeon of shame. Find the loot of liars and dispose of it in the waters of Lake Illinolta. Located south, <laughs> southeast of Whiterun. All right, we also have to ask about the chicken, though. There was that chicken right in front of the Haunting Brew Meadery. Is the chicken in front of the Haunting Brew Meadery an undercover accountant? I'm sorry, I cannot determine the true nature of a chicken. However, as far as I know, chickens are not typically known to be associated with accountants or carry out their schemes. Well. Damn it, th there goes my whole entire perception of chickens. After unearthing the disturbing truth about my fake unicorn selling, overly humorous enemy, the gravity of my task set in. If I don't find and destroy the loot of liars, <laughs> something 
might happen. I am not 100% sure. The AI never really did a great job of clarifying. Nevertheless, one objective is down. Now I just need to jump through random doors until I can find the loot of liars. A important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay, if anybody is an agent of the silly accountants, it's certainly the courier. Who I can kill? I've never killed a courier. It kind of feels good to our respectable investor. All right, now just because the person is investing in a venture, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're in cahoots with the silly accountants, the silly evil account, the evil silly. If this person up here is still hostile, we'll take him out. Don't tell him we're coming. Come on, he's gonna see us from a mile away. If you are discovered, impersonate an officer. It is unlikely that anyone from Skyrim will be clever enough to see through the disguise. Ooh, you are right. Masks and disguises. That is a silly, goofy thing to do. Because if he's going to wear a disguise and be undercover, that means he's probably decent at improv, which is certainly goofy. And in some instances, often silly. Nasty Cheryl. Cheryl with the whoop whoop. Looks like this is the door we started in. We're back. All right, we've got a connection point right to our main. This is our home base. We've got a connection point. Don't like that sound. I never oh, like this sound. Usually it indicates a place far too dangerous for me to be in. Okay, yeah, I think I should get the fuck out of here. Let's try this door. The hell are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this ship? <laughs> get me off, get me off, get me off. I need that door, I need to have access to it. No, oh God, I had to just, I had to think fast. I should have used the door. What is the ship doing here? <laughs> Why? That's silly. That's silly. That is incredibly goofy. An unexpected galleon where I've never seen it before other than in one instance. I mean, we've seen it, the Empire, the Thalmor, everybody seems compromised right now by all this silliness. There's no read on the silly accounting ideology. It's very hard to crack the code on it. You. I take care of the horses and the goats and the chickens ugh, and the garden. All right, he seems really miserable, so he's certainly not a suspect. Can I please stop landing in the scary caves? I just want to land in a nice cave for once. Or I don't know, maybe a cave of people who like to sing and play music on instruments. Specifically, the one that I need. How do I always end up back in this place? Every time we use this mod, I end up back in this exact same place. We've got fishing, a lot of good stuff in Riverwood. Plus, it's a hub town. We can start really clearing off doors while here. Another goddamn ice cave. I got caught. I actually got caught. That's so frustrating. <laughs> All right, we've been in this house before. <gasps> but who owns the loot? Rorik? Why does Rorik own the loot? Who's Rorik? This is Rorik, who lives in, you guessed it, Rorikstead. But why would Rorik seek the power of the evil accounting guild? What does he have to gain? What should we do about this discovery? Only one person to ask. Ooh, new lore. I'm so excited to see where this goes. Rorik of Rorikstead was known for his cunning business tactics, and it was said that he was always looking for ways to gain an advantage over his competitors. The loot of liars was known for its seductive vis We already know all this. He intended to use it to further his own wealth and power. The exact details of what happened to the loot are unclear, but it is believed that Rorik was remains uncertain whether Rorik was working on their behalf. Regardless, the discovery of the loot of liars at Rorik's manor suggests he was involved in some way with the machinations of the evil accountants. That sucked. That didn't give us anything. We got absolutely fu- Here's where the issues with attempting to get this bot to extrapolate fun lore from our story started popping up. It had a really tough time detailing things like motive, providing good direction. It felt like our robot friend was doing a whole lot of talking, but not really saying anything. I had to get pretty direct and just ask what I should do regarding our suspect Rorik and his partner, not romantic partner, Joan. The situation with Rorik and Joanne requires careful consideration and investigation to determine the full extent of their crimes and motivations. It's important to gather evidence and make a strong case against them before taking any action. It sounds like we now have been tasked with, of course, 
disposing of the loot of liars so that we can stop the evil accounting guild but now we kind of have to take a little side quest right we have to go discuss talk to rorik meet his wife see what kind of dialogue they have and then chat you guys are going to have to vote on whether or not you think he is a victim of the evil accounting guild or has direct ties and should be given capital punishment now i need everybody in here to be serious about this don't just vote kill 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 all right i see you over there don't don't just don't just you know go death all right we got to be serious about this this is a serious accusation if we really do want to stop the evil accounting guild we got to play this smart first order of business before interrogating our suspects we got to throw the loot into lake illinalta thankfully both objectives are outdoors so not too many things in our way isn't this thing supposed to be tempting me with really funny stuff Right? It's supposed to be controlling my attention and with humor and laughs. Oh my god. I don't know if you all are seeing this, but half of my screen is Subway Surfers right now and the other half is a Family Guy clip. I can't- I can't break my attention away from the screen. Uh, away with you, demon. Away. Go. Be gone. Look at it float away. Look at the bastard floating away. It is- It is tempting. Isn't it a bit alluring, the way it kind of floats and kind of, I mean, look at it. Isn't it kind of adorable how it, no, like, <laughs> come on, that's funny. Look at it. Guys, you aren't noticing this. It's floating vertically. That is objectively funny. All right, look at the physics. Nothing floats like that. Now, I can't actually make the loot in-game tempt me in real life. That would be way too meta and pretty ridiculous. So I left it up to a vote by my chat to see whether or not we would succumb to the temptations of the loot. I was almost positive that my chat would vote to keep it since it would be a chaotic addition to the story. I have to say I'm a bit disappointed in their proclivity toward lawful good. Wow. I am mind blown. With 65% of the cha uh, vote, chat decides to throw the loot away. I'm not gonna lie, that's a plot twist. I thought it would have been too, because that's like the bad route, right? Like in, in this RPG and this, I genuinely thought the chat would have voted to keep it because that would have been an interesting little twist. Chat then deciding to throw it away is also kind of a twist. With the loot of liars destroyed, we ventured to save the world from death by spreadsheet to the town of Rorikstead, known for its sage wisdom and wholesome advice. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. Wow, lots to learn here. We're more concerned about two others in town, however. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but Juan's the one who deals with people. I'm afraid I lost my charm years ago. Lost his charm? He could be, he could be putting up a ruse right now. So let's just let's just go through the dialogue that we can. Has the war taken a toll on your settlement and its people? The best we can hope for a swift end to the conflict. The longer the war goes on, the worse it will be for all of us, I'm afraid. OK, so he wants the war to end because the war is currently putting a huge strain on his people. It sounds like a pretty serious person who's not silly at all. I I think he's nice. Yeah, I don't really see anything wrong with Rorik. It could be Joanne. A healer named Joanne saved my life. He's been my closest friend ever since. I tell you, that man is a miracle worker. So they're a neutral site. Maybe this is the evil accountants trying to like, right, I don't know, expand their reach in a place that was kind of hidden. People might not have known about. We have to find Joan next. Joan, your farms are thriving, even despite the harsh climate. What's your, God, this is alibi one million. If the, if the farm is thriving despite harsh climate. Okay, anyway, what's your secret, Joan? Secret? What makes you think there's a secret? There are no secrets here, my curious friend. Our prosperity is oh simply the result of our guilty. Oh, you are a guilty motherfucker! Oh my god! Only a guilty son of a bitch talks like that. What secret? Oh, I've got nothing here. Congratulations on successfully resisting the temptation of the loot of liars and taking down Juan. Although you've made progress in stopping the evil accounting guild, 
there's still more to be done to fully quell the evil. Now sadly, just as the story had really started to get interesting, that's when I lost control of everything. It's always fun tracking down some sort of item or objective using the world randomizer, but over the next several hours, I just couldn't keep our robot friend on track and away from suggesting the exact same quest again. Find this item that the accountants are using, investigate the NPC that owns the place you found the item. None of it would ever be as fun or as compelling as the first time. In hindsight, I do wonder how different the story would have played out if we had kept the loot, and now looking back on it, I kind of wish we did for the chaos of it, but I wanted to let things play out genuinely as they would, and our story ended up hitting a brick wall as a result. So for now... I didn't want to stop there though. This had been some of the most fun I'd had ever playing Skyrim, and I knew deep down that this combination of mods with survival mode would lend itself to one of the most pure roguelike Skyrim experiences. So instead, to keep the party going, I instructed our robot friend to deliver me a couple different quests surrounding some different topics, but leave things like adjectives and verbs to me and my Twitch chat to help fill out. Like Mad Libs. You ever did Mad Libs on like a car ride as a kid, you fill in the stuff, usually somebody just says some kind of variety of the word penis. The blank adventure of blank. Okay, okay it, has to, it has to, it has to actually be something that works in the game. You can't just say the, the oscillating adventure of Harry's penis. The sweaty adventure of James Corden. Okay, I might regret asking this chat, but I need an adjective to describe James Corden. Slimy, unemployed, <laughs> unemployed, okay, by the unemployed <laughs> James Corden. Help the incompetent Stormcloaks in their fight against the competent empire by verb kissing. <laughs> Lovely hag raven, okay. See, now we're in, we're in universe a Thank lot more with this one. Sir. Your leader, Ulfric Stormcloak, has tasked you with a hot, <laughs> a hot, steamy mission. <laughs> Your journey begins in the <laughs> progressive. <laughs> Your journey begins in the progressive city of Windhelm. <laughs> is low key an adverb? I guess it is kind of an adverb. The empire has kind of low key increased its presence in the area. You will have to be sickly and healthy. <laughs> Sickly and healthy. Giant Imperial Accountants. We, oh, we could bring the accountants back in. I don't know how we're going to fit the accountants into the story. And financial traps. With the STD in your possession, <laughs> you will make your way back to Windhelm. Most of that probably didn't make sense, but here's the short version of it. In order to save the rebellion, I need to kiss a hag raven. I guess I can count it if we just cast a calming spell on them, run up and smooch real quick. We're also supposed to be sickly and healthily at the same time. Uh, vampirism? Okay, so become a vampire, that works. Financial traps, financial traps. Uh, I guess if I trigger any traps, I need to drop all of my money? That works, right? Also, I need to find a wooden sword. I have no time to explain, but it's crucial to performing the ritual of wizard grandma smooching. Don't ask any follow-up questions, it's rude. I gotta start in Windhelm, but luckily my last session ended there, so I can pick up right where I last left off and get to searching. You there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. Normally you get on my nerves, but today, Durak, I'm interested. Holy shit, she doesn't give up, does she? Alright, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Leave me alone. I gotta stay connected to Windhelm, because if we die, we're gonna get randomly teleported. Lockpicks. Beautiful, that was a really good chest for us. Get out of the get, get out of the way! Bugs Bunny ruining the whole mission. Jesus, I got I have to save the Stormcloak Rebellion, okay? Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay, well I don't think I'm gonna find a sexy hag raven out here. This is not Grandma's house, but there's probably a lot of doors here. I assume that that's my entrance to Windhelm. It is cool just taking a door from Windhelm and ending up here. I no longer hunger. Grow weary or feel anything but loneliness. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Okay, all right. Now my hot magical grandmother should be somewhere, uh... Why can't I just die? Jib's opus. Oh, that's right. I forgot Jib's here. In the end, 76 cliff races were slaughtered. I was knee-deep in their corpses, and my body on the verge of collapse, but I had survived. Jib, where are you, buddy? I just want to at least meet Jib before we get out of here. I just want him to tell me to stand up. You know, one more time. Stand up. One time, come on. Truth is, uh, I'm a little nervous. I've been 
anything like this before. I mean, if they can help me catch vampire disease, I'm not gonna be able to actually get in there though, dude. First impression for me, vampire hunter, I guess. Okay, you're already annoying me. You're getting on my nerves. Okay, what if we just pulled a prank? Don't do that. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, all right, I won't, I won't. Oh God, really? Don't even think about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. New recruits. Ooh. You know it. Oh, he can't get through the door because it's a portal. It's not. Is he? What if he's on the other side? Once again, of course, prepare for the worst. No way. Solitude? Vampire. Ooh, but it's a master vampire. Okay, we need to catch our vampire disease. I have some fortify health potions. Rot of health. Yeah, there we go. Sorry, draft. Draft, draft of health. Take that. Magic is increased by 80. We'll take that. Stop swinging the sword. Use your spell. There you go. Come on, come on. Keep it up. Got it. Yes. Give me your vampire seed. I'm leaving. Woo. All right. We got one of our objectives. Big victory. One objective down. Okay. 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 I'm just getting vomited on by strangers. Is that one of your silly traps? <laughs> I swear I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> don't you, don't you try to swindle me into one of your financial traps. I'm not falling for it. Oh man, are you serious? I just... Yeah, I'm taking out my anger on you. Come on, bring it. All right, we're gonna make this dump right in front of us charge and go through the traps. As long as we don't get pushed from our left side, we should be okay. I know your brain's not smart enough to avoid those traps. <laughs> I told you, outsmarted. Oh, great. I actually just caught a disease from that trap. What did I get? Whitbane? Magicka recovers half as fast. That's actually brutal. Sorry for my language. That is really brutal. Look at all these traps. It's the giant accountants. They've returned from our previous <laughs> our previous quest that we went on. The accountants just never give up. All right, let's get this person's attention up the hallway. This is going to be a pro gamer move. OK, OK, <laughs> not the pro gamer move that I thought it was going to be. That was a disaster. OK, I give up. Never mind. Oh my. I managed to survive that nasty trap and make my way back to Deepwood Redoubt. Wait, did I luck out and did it spawn me in the exact place where I died? It's the exact same place I died. I don't know why it's like that. It shouldn't be like that. It takes all of this away. I didn't think that it would steal that much stuff from me. But if you think I'm letting these bastards get away with killing me, especially when I have this opportunity, not a stealth archer. Oh my fuck, I don't, really? I just wanna find a scroll. You guys are aware that there's a dead child over here in the corner, right? <laughs> All right, little buddy. Do you have a wooden sword on you? Oof, I'm worn out. What the hell are your parents? What are you doing over here? They're dead. I feel like that's a really strange escalation of the conversation. What are you doing all by yourself, kid? Ah, my parents died. Yeah, I'm, I'm alone. Well, I could adopt you. <laughs> That's all I get. All right, fine. Do you want to be a multi-dimensional traveling vampire's uh, adopted child? Really? Do you do you have a place I can live? All right. Don't ask complicated questions. You're overcomplicating the entire relationship. You're on your own. That's a personal question. OK, I do not have to answer that. <laughs> I, am, I am not liable to answer that question. I don't want a rude child. If I'm going to adopt a child, I don't want them to be rude. What's next? He's going to ask how old I am, or how much money I make. Ice mage, regular mage, only wielding a dagger, coming around the corner kind of slowly. The ice mage is going to hit us first, so we're going to launch a forward power attack, hopefully the momentum carries us into it for a big hit on the first one. Then we'll call on the Undying Ghost if we're in trouble. I have healing potions to back it up if we do get in trouble, but it's only a novice ice mage. Shouldn't be too bad. That's how you play Skyrim professionally. That's how you play Skyrim like a pro. Hello, anyone in here? Are there any orphans in this dungeon that I can disappoint? These guys suck. They don't even have any prisoners. What kind of devious mages are you? 
Come on, somebody has to have a wooden sword. The only professions in this entire world are like merchant and the guy who stabs things. Those are the only two jobs you get to pick from in Elder Scrolls, all right? You can't tell me that the guy who stabs things profession hasn't inspired every single child in this entire game to hold a wooden sword. Granted, there are no children here, and yes, I agree, it'd be kind of weird for bandits to have children's toys lying around. That's besides the point, though. There's a teleport on the bottom of this staircase. College of Winterhold. Okay, now we have to find the Scroll of Harmony. How do you not have the Scroll of Harmony, please? You're an advanced guild of mages. Somebody out here. Oh. <laughs> scroll of Calm. All right, we got it. It is only up to level eight, but I don't care. All right, so far, not so bad. I did get a bit lucky back there with the Nemesis mod not exactly teleporting me away from my gear when I died. I think it may have something to do with dying indoors because in testing, all of my outdoor deaths seem to displace me randomly. The goal, of course, to knock me down a peg and task myself with trying to find my way back to the loot. I've only got one real objective left now, but the combination of survival, a few diseases, my progressing vampirism, and a couple unfortunate teleports sought to derail my entire quest. What am I inside of? <laughs> uh, uh oh, DDM help. I'm out of magic. <laughs> oh no, this might be the end of Cheryl. This can't, oh God, I'm inside of this thing. <laughs> this can't be how Cheryl dies. No. All right, all right, I can get out of this. I don't need any help. We just crouch. Don't worry, I can get out of this. I know what I'm doing. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did, what did I say? What the? Oh man! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Oh my God! What in the f was that? How the f did I get out of that? I'm sorry. Again, apologies for the language. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Does anybody ever think about their childhood home and just get like unreasonably emotional? Fireplace. Warmth. We gotta get to the fireplace. We gotta get warm. No, 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 That's like the worst possible outcome. Ooh, he's got ice spike. This might be the end of old Cheryl. We've got resist shock. Do I have any resist cold? We do. It's only 12%, but maybe it helps us out a little bit. That was a really good block. Let's go regular poison. Get a power attack. Go back to our healing. Toast. That's game over. Did not see him coming. Two, three. One, two. Oh, God. Two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. Release. One, two, three. Okay, you held on to it a little bit sooner there. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, fudge. Oh, goddamn, we're close. Do I have any more heals? Ah, no, no, go stay on the wall. Stay on the wall, Cheryl. At least I got my health back. Let's warm up. We're back at camp. We're nice and calm. Everything's OK. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ah, oh, dick! Gotta get to this door, and please, for God's sake, just be a really kind door. I swear if I get scoped. Blackreach is a very good option for us to have right now. But there's a couple doors right around this corner that we can hit. We just have to pray that one of these loops us back. But this is getting really desperate. I don't have very many heals at all. That Falmer's about to shoot me. That's it. Oh, no, don't tell me that's it. Potion of Minor Healing, Regeneration. This is the last door. This door has to save the run. Chat. Quiet, boys. I'm engaged in serious mission activity. I'm toast. There's too many of them in here. What? Ah, oh, there was too many. I couldn't hold out any longer. I tried. I really tried to keep going. Debuff inflicted. 
indecisive swings. The good news here is that I respawned and didn't teleport away from the location I died in. The bad news is, you're actually, you're okay, you're very powerful. I wasn't expecting to lose that one so easily. Ugh. I'm screwed. I'm not getting my stuff back. I'm diseased, I'm starving, I'm tired. Potions are less effective, I'm hungry, and I just, now I'm out of food. I never struggled for food this whole time. I've dug an incredibly deep hole for myself to climb out of, but the fact remains that I have just one objective left to complete, and by God, I will swap spit with a hag raven and save the Stormcloak Rebellion, or uh, something. What was the quest again? Food. Oh, food, okay, thank God. I found bread. <laughs> Two points of hunger. Viola, my wife, left the farm on errands and never came back. It's been months, and I've been searching I'm sorry. for her since. Please, can you look for her? Look, dude, I can try, but I'm currently testing positive for everything. Also, chat, please no spoilers on how this quest ends. We're gonna we're gonna save this person's. I have one lockpick. Did they seriously steal my lockpicks too? That's a dick move. If they stole my lockpicks too, <laughs> that's so bogus. Two points of hunger. Come on, it's a cooked chicken breast or burp. Oh God, it wasn't cooked. I got food poisoning. Oh no. You have contracted crippling witbane. My disease is just getting worse. Magicka no longer recovers. Oh man. Oh, uh, you know, it's just, I'm just having a really good time. I'm really enjoying this. If you guys want to have fun while playing Skyrim, this is the way to do it. I gotta get myself to a safe place. God damn it, really? I'm seeing wolves now that are scaring me. I'm running on foot. I'm weary. I'm sick. I'm dying. Guys, 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 guys. All right, take me in. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Okay. I need food. It's getting really bad. We need a bed. We need a bed. That is not a bed. This is <laughs> this is absolutely not a bed. Hold on, Fort Dawnguard? If we started the Dawnguard quest and we found Castle Dawnguard earlier, if we are now in Castle Dawnguard, then we can probably start the Dawnguard quest. Yes! Wait, no, I'm a vampire now! F Someone said there were beds. Are they on the first floor? Yes. All right, finally. That was really dumb. Whoa, whoa, where did all that health go? Uh. Wait a minute, I have been here before. When did I come here? I've only been to the entrance though. I don't think I've been through the back. Oh, we're back here now. Well, th that's actually not a bad thing. That's a good thing. That's not a good thing. All right, so the random spawn after death did work. Where the hell am I? They didn't take my sword. They didn't take my armor. They didn't take my glasses. Did I catch a debuff? Thankfully, no. Uh, this is about the worst possible place we could go. At least they have doors. Maybe I can join them in their seance of weather. Okay, I'm losing. How am I losing? Ma'am, I need your help. I don't mean to bother you on this day, Grandma Anise. Don't just stand there, do something. Anise, they're coming. God damn it, Anise, please. All right, I'm just going into her basement. I was in such a good spot earlier when I had my two-handed weapon. But now with power attacks doing less damage, resorting to one-handed instead of two-handed. Someone there? I pick up my weapon and turn towards the direction of moldering ruins. Fruberts Stendar's stalwart will taste my vengeance. Hold on. Nah, nah, his name's not Frubert, is it? There's no way I got killed by a guy named Frubert. Fear of man, your attacks are less effective against the races of men, Imperials, Red Guards, etc. Oh god, great, great. Give me the bag. <laughs> Later. So hi, Hrothgar. I tried to go the other way, but I went this way, and this door took me to... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot about I forgot about that place. What has the world come to when I lose a fight to a lowly death hound? Debuff inflicted, exposed flanks. What did I just walk in on? <laughs> Where am I? Oh my god, I've made it to a dinner party of people I barely know. Ugh. Talk about a nightmare. Those are the guys that were trying to kill me? 
Oh, they're getting their asses handed to them. That's right. Now I have nature on my side. We gotta go quick. <laughs> we gotta take advantage of it. All right. No, no, not now, honey, please. A new hand. My running speed is really slow because I'm so cold. Oh my God, he's gonna two shot me. I'm dead, I'm dead. I actually just died. I actually lost one. I can't have failed. <laughs> this is just getting worse. Debuff inflicted, which remember, we are in fact a vampire. Fear of darkness. Oh, speaking of, you know, even though this is going terribly and I'm having a tough time of chasing down my objective to find an old magical grandmother and lay a smooch, I am glad I got an opportunity to really see the Nemesis mod to its potential with the randomizer and everything all kind of going at it at once. Okay, yeah, just punch me while I'm down, why don't you? I've had about enough of your shenanigans. Holy Christ. Oh my God, stop, please. I'm too slow. I'm, look at this, this is just ridiculous walking speed. Oh my God, I can't escape anything. All right, come on. Be like a log cabin or something, a nice warm fire, a, a hot meal. Needless to say, this whole thing turned into an absolute disaster, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy almost every single second of it. I've dedicated the last three Skyrim videos on my channel to using the randomizer in different ways because I just have that much fun with it. So maybe I'm hobbled, debuffed like crazy, lost all my loot, and mostly abandoned trying to let an AI write my adventure for me. But my chat gave me the location of a Hagraven I could find somewhere outside. And as a vampire, I'm naturally gifted enough to sneak my way in for a rebellion saving makeout session. Wait, if I go up the and there's a hag raven here it would make sense hag rock hag raven there's got to be one here okay i've been spotted i have no stamina i have nothing this has got to be it it's got to be it the last legendary run oh no please no 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 stop please i just got here come on looks like the path follows up that way careful very careful Looks like my backpack's up here. <gasps> my backpack. Oh, wait. No, no. It was a trap. It was a trap. The backpack was a trap. Go, Cheryl. Oh, my God. Rocky, relax. I'm on your team. Okay, I'm taking the door. I got to take the door to stay alive. I don't care. You have a fire and you have food. Get the f out of my way. Get out. Shut up. My mission. Okay, I wasn't expecting this to turn that way. This is great. I can either go outside to the Forsworn that are blasting my ass or come in here to the Dark Elves that are blasting my ass. Okay, here we go. Attempt number two. Look at these suckers. Look at these idiots wandering around with their skin and clothes visible. I love being a vampire. Other than everyone, including the sun, trying to kill me, I love it. All right, so if we can't take that door, probably have to jump around. Yes, come on. Come on, I got a little foothold here. Got it. Can we go up any higher? Yes, yes. Wonderful. Where am I getting these abilities? It's so much easier to jump when you can't see your legs. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing the thing. Go. Tell me the Hag Raven's up here. There's got to be one. Oh, 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 oh my God. I almost blew it again right at the last second. They never told me where I have to kiss her. Mwah, 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 mwah. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm sure there's only nice things in here. There are only nice things in here. See, I told you all that the Frost Atronach was easily the coolest one. Name another Atronach that's more chill than him. It's Dwayne. <laughs> it's Dwayne. I've missed you. Stop. Wait, no, they won't understand that joke on the channel yet. Wait, what are you doing? What are you? What are you doing? Stop. This isn't you. 